and welcome back to Big Boy. Okay, here we go. This game is interesting. Uh, this is the Siege of Orgun, or Orgun, or Orgun, whatever you want to call it. It's designed by Patrick Reustman. R U E S T C H M A N M A N N. Rootsman, perhaps? There you go. Look at that. Someone help me with pronouncing that. I never thought that would be that difficult to say. Because I wanted to say the French Rue, but then you've got the Deutsche Ch, so Rootsman. Rootsman, maybe. Let's not worry about that. Let's talk about the game. And I got the squeaky chair today. So this is a, a very interesting little game that probably when you first look at it and first, and you're going to hear what I have to say about it, you're going to think, oh, well, it's just kind of like the, um, what is that, Storm Over series or whatever the case may be. Well, <clears throat> it kind of is like that, but it's also different. Uh, the, the card play mechanics are a little bit different because some of the cards are played in the supply phase. Some are played in the reinforcement phase. Uh, the combat is slightly different in that, uh, well, here's how the combat works. You, you're tallying up uh, strength points, comparing them against each other and you get a differential, and then you're, then you're rolling dice to see what the, what the net differential will be, and that's gonna drive the loss the losses and then the losses are taken from a table which is not really a CRT so much as uh, you know if you lose one if, you, if the difference is one X happens if you if difference is two Y happens and so on and so forth um, there seems to be a fair amount of uh, thought really needs to go into this game from the Afghan uh, Mujahideen perspective because it's very easy to be aggressive early, trying to come across this open terrain and get yourself into a pickle. Uh, my opening moves were to try and block the supply road here and leaving units out in the open that are spent. You flip units over once they've moved to their spent side. And you can see this is a one here, combat value of two there. And this other factor is a cohesion factor, which is like a morale roll you're gonna make and then four is the moving points. Uh, so, you know, in this particular instance, when you move these guys, they become half as powerful. So leaving them in the open without a, without a terrain modifier is really going to be painful. So, uh, <clears throat> I just realized I may have made a mistake in the last attack I did down here in the corner. I don't think I gave uh, the Mooj the benefit of the doubt on the terrain there. Uh, I was overkill in any case. I'm not sure two step two two pips would have made a difference there, but uh, we'll we'll have a recalculation of that later. So it see so so from the Afghan perspective, it's quite difficult. Even though you're doing a north and south or, or whichever whatever directions they are, top of map, bottom of map approach, you're coming out of the mountains and you're coming across the plain here and the objective is to capture the airfield and maybe this little township here which is fortified and then the center of town here which is fortified. Picking those up is basically going to win you the game. Uh, it's a 12 turn game, moves pretty quickly. I imagine that, and my point about even talking to you about this game before I pack it up is that uh, I think this is an excellent very fast playing game opposed. I don't know that it's going to be super duper fun playing this solo per se, just because, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of second guessing that you can do here. And I think you, it, it loses the, the flavor of the game, excuse me, when it's played, uh, when it's played solo. So that said, Perfect game to take to the game store and play. I bet you you could get this sucker knocked out in an hour. Um, to the point where uh, it's pretty obvious where someone's going to win. And in fact, in this case, we're, we're pretty much at a place where we know that the the Moorjah are going to win. That 
we've only lost two Soviet units and these guys here are in strife they don't really have the combat power to take on the, the airfield they don't have the uh, combat power to take on this location here they could insert themselves into here and then do one or the other but uh, they're, they're in a bit, a bit of a pickle and then down in the in the mountain area this is heavily fortified and uh, the terrain is very positive and I've got a strong force there. Um, now, it might be possible to, to slink some guys across, cut off a supply, which would then maybe force me to move one unit out and make this weaker. But we've lost so many guys out of this particular clan or this tribal, this faction here, that they're almost combat ineffective. They've got uh, five combat factors here and just six here. The Wazari clan. So, uh, very interesting game. Rules are very well laid out. It is a black and white rule book. Uh, it's got that kind of typical revolution games layout. Everything's pretty clear and straightforward. Uh, some decent design and notes in here as well, so I like that. Uh, the cards are good quality. The counters are excellent quality. The map is, uh, it's not that slip, there's this tendency with printed maps these days to be that slippery, shiny kind of texture to them and this is not that uh, it's just this is just a regular paper map it, it's not paper I guess it's a heavier stock than paper but it's not a thick cardboard if you know what I mean so it's got quite a bit of flex to it it does crease you know the, the ink is wearing on the creases this is the it comes in a you know a flat pack so that's your cover sheet and then they use that to give you a rundown on the units and bits and pieces back of the rules has secrets to play and charts you know i think this is a fine game i'm going to take it to the store uh, in, uh, if not this week then maybe next week and see if we can't give it a run for its money with somebody so revolution games good job patrick nice effort roger moore sorry roger moore roger miller was the developer on it uh, another another great job by uh, the revolution games guys on a topic that is not covered very well, right? This is 1983, um, you know, the, the Soviets versus the Mujahideen. So, uh, well done.